if we are insignificant if we are nothing what does it matter what we do anyway everything is nothing so it does matter when you are insignificant you do also nothing then there is bliss but the moment you do something it is going to bring you the result if if you overeat you may have to call doctor yeah you have indigestion and you have to see a doctor if you drive through red light you will get a ticket what does it matter i am hollow and empty let me drive through <laughs> red light or green light doesn't matter it's all light anyway <laughs> let me drive through you drive through no doubt you will get a ticket and if you do it quite often you will lose your license huh so we must know that we live in two realities one is the quantum physics where everything is one see the panels are wood the roof is wood chair is wood sofa is wood the floor is wood but you can't take the, take the sofa for door and door for sofa i can't go and sit on the door but if you ask a carpenter let's say it's all wood huh? the very common example in india that's given is um, go about gold you know a goldsmith doesn't see if it's a small ring a big ring or a necklace or a bracelet for goldsmith he puts everything and weighs oh this is 50 grams of gold that's what he thinks it's, it's it's a gold but when you are wearing you can't wear your earrings in your hand and your ring of ring your ring of your finger into your neck so there is difference in the same way there is classical chemistry there are isotopes the periodic table each atom is different each molecule is different that is one level another level is it's all just wave function all atom quantum physics so there is quantum physics which is true and then there is the world of differences which is true life the art is to balance both this and more do you get what i'm saying please explain the relationship between guru and student thanks lao just relax <laughs> be at home you know at, with teacher you should be like with a doctor or with a mirror in front of mirror you stand in front of mirror you reflect yourself right the teacher that's the that's the most desired thing is being open natural and ready for taking the next step <laughs> is the nature of enlightened beings and non enlightened being the same how do you tell when one is enlightened what do we have to look for if anything there is no criteria as a most difficult thing to do you can't judge by your head something in your heart tells so you cannot judge in that in my life so if you know yourself then you can know me better but i said you know because that person you would not do not keep quiet said no no you are not telling the truth no no yeah what makes you say that your heart is saying like only eyes can see your ears cannot see similarly our heart only can recognize so essence of all teachings is love and compassion 
self awareness the point is inside every culprit also there is a nice person good person there is there is a human hiding we need to bring that humanness and if you see through my eyes i don't see any one bad person on this planet they are only misguided ignorant or hurting and suffering people mm mm-hmm. and you will never get angry with those who are suffering how can you be angry at those who are suffering tell me isn't it how can you be angry at someone who is suffering They are suffering inside, and we need to reach out. We need to help. This is what we need to do. Yeah.